On this series, we started a construction company and a shed sales company. This video, we're gonna start a lawn mowing business for like the 12th time and see how we can do. Let's get into it. Okay, this is about to be a pretty fun video, guys. Everybody loves mowing. And if you don't love mowing, well, you've just never mowed before because mowing's pretty darn fun. Some people say it's boring, but I always enjoy it. So check this out. This is our new place, and this is where we're gonna be starting a mowing business from. Now I've started like 12 different mowing businesses on the squad channel, and honestly, starting them is the funnest part, like building out your building, your equipment setup, stuff like that. So. First things first for this is we need to strip off this grass. It's ironic because we're a mowing company, we're gonna just strip away all the grass, but strip away all the grass, get it to bare dirt, level this off with the dozer, and then start bringing in building materials to build our shop over here for the lawn mowing business. Now, I'm not sure who's gonna run this, all help and stuff, but we also have our construction business over here and our shed business over here. So we're just trying to diversify as much as possible, just like Warren Buffett says. It looks like Nate's already got the building materials ready to roll. Boy, that was quick. Nate. 20 bucks says this F-150 can move that dozer on a gooseneck 100 yards down the road without anything breaking. No tire blowing on the F-150, nothing. She's gonna be rock solid. That's like a 50,000 pound dozer over there. Deal? You know what? I put 100 bucks says it'll break your truck. You think so? I put a hundred bucks on it. Okay, we'll bet lunch on it, how about? So we have all these trucks capable of pulling this dozer around here, but we're not sure if the F-150 is capable of pulling it. So why not just test it out and throw it behind the dozer, which is an extreme amount of weight. Come on back. Okay. Uh, well, pull forward. Uh, yep. Okay, I don't think the trailer's even off the ground yet. All right, hit your hydraulics. There we go. There we go, Nate. Oh yeah, man. The 150, she's squatting pretty good. But uh, wait a sec, is my hitch dragging on the ground? I don't think it's touching the ground. My mud flaps are scraping the ground, but the hitch isn't. It looks good. I'll call it good, man. The, the hitch is just support, man. We may put a little indent in the concrete, but we'll be fine. Just ever so slightly. It's got toe mirrors. It can pull anything, man. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, she's pulling her. Now I'd really like to see this done in real life. It'd be really cool to see this, but I think Nate's gonna owe me lunch or a hard box. One of them. There we go. There's no way this man's about to make it. With ease, Nate. With ease. The eco boost, man. She may be screaming like 7,000 RPM redliner but she's pulling her watch this watch this nate watch this i don't even need an entrance i will pull this thing straight through the ditch oh baby how did <laughs> there we go so we're gonna disconnect the trailer and i'll pull off of here and then we'll be able to drive the dozer straight off there there we go so nate's gonna get her pulled off and probably start scraping i'm not sure if he'll run the dozer or i'll run the dozer who knows okay i gotta intervene real quick if you haven't definitely check out american farming which is squad built's mobile game next would a mowing mobile game game be pretty cool let me know your guys's thoughts on this having a mowing simulator game hear me out you first start on a map like this you bid your jobs for homes you go up and say hey i want 40 bucks i want 60 bucks for this lawn you start your own business from scratch with a push mower in a really crappy pickup you eventually upgrade to a garden tractor you can do different things like pull different attachments like aerating a lawn behind it and then you eventually get more money and upgrade to a zero turn and then eventually your business does better and better and then you have multiplayer in the game and you can mow with your buddy you upgrade to a four-door pickup and you keep upgrading your business till eventually you're driving a super nice super duty and then you have a really nice trailer set up and you have like a bunch of your friends working for you and it's a multiplayer game and then eventually you can get into skid steers do a little landscaping cut down trees to clean up properties and keep making money would a mowing slash landscaping video game like this be pretty cool and i know what you guys are gonna say grant lawn mowing simulators out there but that game is just like you start in a backyard and mow a backyard. It's not like where you drive around town, upgrade your pickup, upgrade your trailer, upgrade your mowing setup, and run a business, like a lawn mowing business. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this. I seriously want your opinion. Put it down below. The more detailed, the better. I'd love to hear it. Okay, back to business. I'm going to take the dozer and start scraping off all this grass so we can get a nice base and start building this building. Nate's currently on the phone in the backhoe right there. So I'm going to get scraping. And this dozer works really good for scraping off dirt. Nate's got it set up pretty good where I just hopped in it and went. And uh, we can strip off a lot of the grass right away with this thing. Oh yeah, 
This is working super good. We'll honestly have this lot cleared in about like three minutes with as fast as we can go with the dozer at seven mile an hour. She's just working away. There we go. And then I'm just going to lift it up and we'll just push the excess dirt and we'll just make a pile right there. And what Nate's doing is he's going and picking up the excess dirt and he's going to load it into a dump truck most likely and then just haul it away. It's working super good. And there goes Nate with the dump truck. He's out of here. Okay, we got all that cleared and we did have some like excess money because we were doing some stuff earlier on. So that's why we had such a crazy amount of money. But basically now we're going to jump up to heaven and get building this lawn mowing business. Sounds like a plan. And there she is, guys. Check this place out. I'll give you guys a full tour of it. But first off, I just wanted to show you guys what we got up here. Now, you guys are going to ask about these. The Case and the John Deere mowers, they are part of a deal we arranged with Case and John Deere to just have some of their equipment on display. We don't actually own these. We'll have our own mowers, but these just kind of sit on display for people to see. Instead of having them out in front of their dealership, I was like, hey, let's just throw some more, get some more roadside advantage for them. They're like, yeah, that'd be awesome. So works out really good. We may end up having a skiddler like this, but these aren't ours. So we got the front display in the ditch. I just wanted to show off, you know, our capabilities of mowing hillsides and looks pretty darn cool with the flower striping and the rocks i don't know i think it's a cool add-on we've got the two entrances to the place we've got a couple bushes this lot back here is going to be like i don't know the messy area that's why we fenced it off if we have any mulch or mess we got to put it in there we'll throw it back there and then we got open cold storage this shed works perfect for us and then we got closed cold storage which this is going to work good we may actually end up storing some materials in here stuff like that shovels rakes and then we have our shop so this is going to be the lawn mowing business shop in here. It's got four different doors. So we can pull our trucks and trailers in, fit them pretty well. And then we got one giant door. Do we really need the giant door? Probably not, but we got it. So we're probably going to end up using it. And then we got our fuel tank right here. So it's pretty darn standard. It's not crazy complex. It looks pretty darn good though. I like the looks of this place, especially with the trees and the hilltop in the background. I think it's going to serve us pretty darn well. Now the question is, what truck, trailer, and mower setup do we need? And that's something then me and Nate are going to buy this video and purchase. We just got to figure out what we need. Okay, so me and Nate are going to this special truck dealership. It's only known by the locals around town and it's known as the Red Shed. It's a special truck dealership that's like four miles away. And the reason this place is so special is because he does some truck modifications that may or may not be illegal. So we're going to the Red Shed. Here this place is he's got trailers and he's got trucks for video purposes i'm not going to give out this guy's name because he doesn't want to get caught but check this place out he's got a couple goosenecks he's got a couple landscape trailers here and then he's got two enclosed trailers i don't know what trailers will end up buying i'm not sure but nate we're going to check out what's all inside here this is like this guy's personal collection like i said i mean he's tinting windows he's doing like stuff that's probably against uh the law don't do this in real life he got some no more he has some normal trucks. He has some there, normal but... st stock trucks, but yeah, they're not too crazy. Then he's got the white F450. I'm not sure how many miles are on this. He's got a white F150. Now, this is the truck I'm looking at. It's an F350 Platinum All Blue FX4 package. He's got a red lifted silver out. We need just like more work trucks, Nate. Not just like lifted crazy stuff, but it's hard to find around here. I mean, what's wrong with something lifted? Listen, if we want to show our customers we do a good job, we got to have good trucks. True. 
Fair enough. Not a bad truck look right here. It's got the 6.7 in it, right? I believe it does. Yeah, I think he's got this truck deleted too. Ugh, I don't want to buy a deleted truck. I mean, I would, but I don't want to. Ugh, it's a mess you're getting into. You know what I'm thinking, Nate? Okay, we get this dually. We're splurging a little bit. We're spending a lot of money, man. We get that dually. We get the matching F350 here too. And these are work trucks. Yeah, work <laughs> trucks. Okay. Uh, if it goes missing to the mud hole Saturday night, don't uh, ask where it went. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm matching trucks. They're a little nice, not gonna lie, but we can use them for other stuff too. Yeah, mud bogging. Yeah, all right, yeah, I like it. We'll buy it. Okay, we did a little money switch it around and we pulled some money from our construction business that has been doing well to splurge on the lawn care business just a little bit. Here's what we got. Now, Nate got the F450 67 power stroke. We got a 40 foot trailer. This is gonna be more for like our bigger garden tractor, like our bigger jobs. We still gotta buy some equipment for that. It's got a fuel tank in the back. Then it's got gooseneck. It's got mud flaps, running steps. And it's got a uh, back rack too with lights on it, which is going to be perfect. And then we match trucks and I got an F-350 single rear wheel. This is going to be kind of the daily that we're going to use to pull the lawn mowers. So it's got a toolbox in the back instead of a fuel tank. Then it's got a back rack with lights on it, of course, too. It's got the FX4 package. It's meant to be go off road. It could probably drive over that cliff if we had to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. So now me and Nate are actually heading over to the John Deere dealer. We're probably going to buy, buy John your equipment we may switch and buy different like toro or x mark zero turns but for now i think john deere is probably going to work the best they have a couple a couple pretty nice mowers set up in zero turns that we're, we're going to end up purchasing okay so here's the place I, nate's just parking in the middle of the lot i guess i will too it's kind of tough when you have trailers but we got a good salesman here that does a nice job and he's already got a couple mowers picked out for us so we're probably going to end up purchasing them we've got a john deere z994r so it's got the seven iron 50 54 inch deck which would be good for those smaller jobs and then we got a z9994r with deck size it's got a 72 inch deck and then we've got one with a 72 inch deck that's got the rubber tires so like if we hit a nail who cares because there's no air in the tires it's just like it's an old i don't know how to describe it i forgot what you call them like non-flat tire which would work pretty darn good actually and then nate's gonna want this and he's already talked to the salesman about it it's a john deere 3046 r and it's got a backhoe it's got a tooth bucket on it that would also work pretty darn good and then it, the backhoe is like a 375a backhoe Okay, what are you thinking, Nate? Well, I found my I found my true love. I don't know about you. I'm thinking it would be nice to have a smaller deck, but I kind of like having at least two 72 inch decks because the smaller deck would be able to fit in tighter places versus 72 inch because we've got a 54 over here. I don't know if we can afford to buy all three yet. I say buy one small deck and one large deck, and then okay. we buy this behind me, so that will kind of even everything out. True. Okay, so we'll buy the 54 inch here, and then I'm probably gonna buy the 72 inch non-flat tires see how that does we won't buy the 72 inch standard tires then sound like a deal it, it's a it's a good way to get started at least figure out what we need yeah okay yeah that, that's the best way to go about that okay so we just got the guy paid i've got the 54 inch deck lawnmower the zero turn which should end up working pretty good nate's gonna get the little garden tractor loaded up on his i guess we could just load everything up on his but might as well throw it on the landscape trailer okay we got an issue the ramp's not touching the ground but if i adjust my hitch back here i think i can get it a little closer to the ground let's see we'll just raise the hitch all the way up okay let's see if that works at all oh yeah there we go perfect and we'll just drive her up on the deck a little more i'm just gonna shove her all the way in there pretty much and nate's got the other mower he's gonna throw up on here you should be good nate just go up on there there we go yeah is there enough room keep going keep going good right there perfect what's nice about these mowers is they both have hitches on them so if we need to like well that one doesn't but this one does so if we need to end up moving like a trailer you can just use a zero turn or pull an aerator you can just use a zero turn and nate's got the garden tractor loaded up on the trailer so we're good there and nate wants to buy this older john deere that they have on the lot he's trying to till the cement parking lot right now with it i ain't trying to till the cement <laughs> parking lot yeah i just think it's a good purchase they said they got some more parts for it in the back i think it might be a good idea how much are they wanting for it oh like nine grand <laughs> For that? Yeah. We get all the attachments. That front end loader comes with it. Give a bucket. The mower deck. Four grand. See if they'll do go. four. All right. Let me go see if they'll go do four. What about four and a half? Deal. We'll take all it. All right. Perfect. Okay. So Nate's got the garden tractor and Jundier guy gave him the 
front loader for it and the mower and this little wagon. So this will actually end up working pretty good, I think. There we go. I'm gonna strap it down. Oh yeah. And we're out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nate, slow her down a little bit, man. I'm only going 30. Uh, it's like we're robbing that place, but pretty much we got robbed by that place with those prices. Oh no, I think I robbed him for that mini tractor. Oh my gosh, dude. We're good. A good thing we got that rock wall there. I don't think that would have been a good thing if <laughs> I would have crashed into it, but okay. I gotta see, but I'm hoping that this trailer will fit in there along with the truck hooked together. I don't think it's gonna fit, guys, but come on. Please build this shed long enough, Grant. I don't think we did. Come on, come on. Oh, it's gonna be close. <sighs> Just a little more. It fits. It fits. Nate, I don't think you're going to fit with that trailer, man. Well, we can make it. Oh, he, he definitely can make it fit with the trailer going out this door. Listen, we can make anything fit. Okay, let's see if Nate can do this here. Oh, right. my gosh. It's going to fit. There you go. To your right. Hold up. Oh, you my gosh. You don't even need parker straight. If we just park it like this, it'll fit like this. And we can close the back doors. Okay. It works. Well, I don't know. Here, let me try closing the back doors. There we go. And it closes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. See? We can make anything fit. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching episode number one of this lawn mowing business build. I think this is probably one of our best like home base builds, our company build so far. Let me know what you guys think. And also, don't forget to check out Nate's channel, Fearsome Rhino, down below if you guys are interested. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.